good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to the channel. So I decided not to make videos like this again, all right? Because whenever you make a video like this, people begin to tag you to a political party or associate you to a specific ideology. And I am not very okay with that, all right? I remember I did a video and the video went viral for some political ideology because that narrative suits them. Even though I was speaking my own thoughts, all right? It felt like, oh, this guy's narrative suited us, so let's push it out there, all right? So I want to set this disclaimer, all right? I'm not speaking from a political sense, all right? Or lens, okay? And if you think you are, an, you are affiliated to any political party, you are a diehard fan, whether these people kill or destroy, you don't care as long as you are getting that small chops, as long as that little benefit you are getting from them, that has messed up your brain. I mean, that has stolen your sense of reasoning. It's flowing. You don't mind. And whatever you say against them, you come and bash them. I mean, I'll be ready for you. Don't bring yourself, all right? Because Africa or Ghana is not for your mother or your father. It's for all of us, all right? Ask yourself this. If we're a youth and you told this sports car line, if we are blinded, you know, let me, before I start, let me say this. You know something called artificial intelligence, right? AI. This is how it works. A machine learning system will be fed with a lot of data or information, all right? And that information, when they implant it, all right, or that when they, 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 they fill, I mean, when they, they link that information to a particular bot, all right, it can be robot or whatever, all right, the robot begins to act on that information. And as more information is added to the robot, the robot learns to refine, to construct, to build on that information and act on it. And that's how a lot of you people who are political affiliated you are. You don't have reason of your own. You can't think for yourself. You've lost your sense of reasoning. You've lost your sense of reasoning because some political party decided to train you while you are in university. Like Tain, like Tescon, like other group that they created, all right? Gave you some promises, you hook you up, then indoctrinated, indoc indoctrinated you. So your mind is skewed towards a particular place. So even when the people that have programmed you, all right, act in a certain manner, which doesn't, uh, which is not for the public good of the nation, which is not for the betterment of the nation, you, you don't mind, you are blinded, it's not your fault. That is why we needed people like Patrick Lumumba, um, Dr. Uh, Ericana, and um, how do you call it, Peter Obi, and all these people to come to Ghana and speak to the youth. At least one or two people have a change of mind. That programming will be deprogrammed and people begin to reason as Africans, as sons of the soil, and reason that you don't need to be a political party uh, a person. I mean, you don't want to, you know, you don't, you don't have to be driven by politics to know that if your water body is being destroyed by Galamseyers, which are party sponsors, in order to get a lot of money to fund their party, you don't have to be, you don't, you don't have to be a, a political person, or you don't have to be politically driven to know that if all these water bodies are destroyed by these political people, all right, in the next few years, your children or your great grandchildren will come and drink poisoned water or wouldn't even have water to drink at all. And if you think that towing that political line will just get your children out of Ghana to the West where they keep living good and you don't care like what happens to those of us who are building our life here and our children, then you are you are next to the devil or demon himself. Then you are worthless. That is what is happening. So please don't bring your political flimsy ego, I mean fragile ego thing here at all. Don't come. If you think this video, this new video is not made for anyone, it's made for people who want to think, who want to reason. It's made for, for Pan-Africanists, people who want the good for their country and for the continent, people who knows or people who think and feels that children walking through the, the Sahara Desert and going through the Mediterranean Sea just to go to Mediterranean Sea, just to go to Europe and survive is wrong. People who believe that having our youth run out of Africa just because they want to go to the west or to europe or to any other country to have a better life it's it's, it's robbery to the talent or to the resources of our nation if you think like that then stick around and let's talk if you're Ghanaian, you should you should feel very ashamed yesterday was the lowest we had our lowest moment 
in the history of this country. One of the lowest, as a matter of fact, in the history of this country. But a very notable one. Over the past week, we've been hearing um, that we'll be having Patrick Lumumba, Dr. Erkana, Peter Obi, and I mean, some dignitaries come to speak to Ghana. Some prominent Pan African, in chromiest of our time, come to speak to the youth of Ghana. All right? So, pretty much it was a convention. I didn't even know that it was sponsored by Nana Bidiakun, one young billionaire called Chada in Ghana. And if it was sponsored by him, if he's sponsored that program, what's even wrong with that? All right? Because this guy, one problem about Ghana is our, 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 our old guys in the political circles, they don't want their power to be challenged. Their financial power to be challenged. Their political power to be challenged. So, when you see that you are becoming wealthy and you are growing powerfully financially and they, 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 they foresee or they project that you, you will come and challenge the status quo, they bring you down. All right? It doesn't matter how many jobs you bring to the people. It doesn't matter how many lives you change for the country. You don't care. All they care is their political party. All they care is their families. All they care is themselves. And they will kill the person, destroy the person just to, uh, 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 I mean, have more blood and life for their political parties and for their families. So I don't really care. And I'm not even surprised that. So I don't really care. And I wouldn't even be surprised if they target Cheddar. But for our president who pride himself to be a Pan-Africanist, someone who goes on stage, who goes to United Nations and preach Pan-African and talk about African owning our own resource, talk about reparation, talking about having uh, uh, having our children staying and, uh, and working in Africa, talking about it being wrong for the children and youth of Ghana or Africa running through the Mediterranean and the Sahara Desert to make ends meet or make their life better. I mean, speaking like 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 a part African who loves Africa and Ghana to look or to see this project or this convention cancelled in Ghana is shameful. It's a double standard, and he has exposed himself. All right. So many Ghanaians have regretted, as a matter of fact, for choosing a certain political party that so many thought will come and save ghana so many youth have realized that they are the worst of the two evil i mean they are even more demon they are more repressive those who pride themselves with democracy those who held uh placards during our one of our repressive time and demonstrated to bring us freedom themselves are the agent of destruction and anti-democracy and anti-development and anti-pan-africanism and yesterday proved it and yesterday proved it all right this program was i mean it wasn't highly publicized but Ghanaians were anticipating i i, I heard people uh, uh, drove 16 hours to come to independence square listen independence square a place a symbol of resistance and freedom and justice not only for ghana but for entire africa independent square of ghana that's where the program was supposed to be had to be held and people drove 16 hours across ghana to be there people people came from nigeria <laughs> people came from kenya south africa i mean europe and us just to be in the the, the, the blaster, blaster square in Ghana to listen to these people and join hands and demonstrate that Pan-Africanism is not dead. And guess what happened? The D-Day of the event, that was yesterday, where people have, had finally guarded in their numbers waiting for Patrick Lumumba, waiting for Dr. Arakana, waiting for Pitobi, waiting for all these people. They realized that the military personnel of Ghana have come to the fold with the police and to what purpose or for what reason order from above says the program should be cancelled can you imagine this is ghana ghana order from above so it's very confusing and it's very hard to believe that this order would come from our president because someone who Projects himself to be pan-African, to be fighting for blacks, for, for, for blacks. Someone who goes to the UN, who stand side by side uh, with the president, by the president of uh, of France. All right, 
and say that it's wrong that this this is happening it's wrong that we are not giving our fair share it's wrong that uh, we are getting aid but we are not receiving fair trade who goes to the un and preach that it is wrong that it is wrong that we have not received reparation for all the evil things done to us ah it is wrong that we are being robbed up to today to cancel an event a convention that will rally people behind him for the message he himself perceived or message that he himself proclaimed to project it's really abysmal and sad it's really confusing so the order order from above is it coming from him or is it just a puppet and the other from above is from maybe some powerful country that d- doesn't like this convention to take place just poke him or just punk him to go stop this event it's confusing because it's only unimaginable and unfathomable for our president to foresee this event to be cancelled it does not benefit him anyway it's rather pitching the youth of ghana against him all right like when president nakofuadu came ghana we felt so much sad we felt hopeless i mean so many things were happening in ghana that were, i mean at then that we're not happy with i mean like doom was on the rise fuel was going up i mean things were sad the dollar was going up and things were in, in, in i mean a very bad shape very very bad shape this man came with so many promises so many blessings so many, like angel that hasn't seen before son like like perfect angel came with promises and here we are that doesn't mean he didn't try he tried initially but if you are doing good with your own reason with your own selfish reason it doesn't always end good i'm not saying anything what i'm trying to say is if you have if you are doing the right thing with wrong intention it doesn't end up well all right yes free education a lot of people from someone who going to school i mean had a thought i mean ss going i mean going through ss was one of the toughest moments in my life i'll be happy to see free education for all but the question is was it from right right intention look at what is happening i mean free education is a blessing but it's making the country uh, uh, bankrupt political expediency i'm not here to talk politics i'm here to talk about so let's just forget we, are, we all have our own things to say we all have all have we all have our regrets we all have our hope and aspiration that that the zeal being broken by people we trusted so it's fine all right but what i'm saying is stopping a pan-african event or conversion to happen in ghana it's a no-no it's a stab in the back it's the final stab in the back this should not have happened and everyone in ghana should feel so sad agitated and dispirited we should feel that gradually we are losing the little hope we have if pan-african uh, 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 convention is being held in ghana and it has been cancelled by a so-called power from above then hey ghana we are almost done it means we are killing every bit of hope of democracy justice self-sufficient uh, uh, and drive to finalize final finalize or cement our independence economically or whatever i mean whatever these people are projecting to say or whatever they are saying that we want freedom want to own our resources whatever they are saying from this tends to be a lie because how can you preach pan-africanism and act against pan-africanism how can you pra- preach i preach for preach virtues and practice vice it's wrong so many nigerians who felt peter b was their hope came they came to ghana came to the went to independence square to listen to peter i mean so many people 
so many people so like myself wanted to hear or see dr uh, patrick and uh, dr arikana wanted to see them face to face i didn't know I, I, did, I didn't go but i had a friend who was going to just broadcast everything so i watched it i mean i was it was i i highly anticipated this event guess what happened power from above cancelled the powerful pan-africanism oh sorry the powerful pan-africanist cancelled a pan-african convention <laughs> only in ghana only in africa and we should be ashamed we should feel disgusted we should feel angry we should feel sad we should feel hopeless and the youth we should begin to open our eyes and minds we should feel this programming we should, we should, we should, we should, no matter where you have been, no matter the, 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 the factory or the, no matter the, 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 the data center your mind will, will, will program, whether it be in Tain or Tescom or whatever or whatsoever, that some uh, um, beneficiaries have been, have been, have been, have been mad, have been trained to train your brain and skill to a specific direction that you can't see anything bad or good. About the people you already have your 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 your, your heart and umbilical cord tied to, you should come. We should we should be we should we should begin to reason, because one day, when you are in your grave, when you are dead and gone, your children will be paying the ultimate price. Your grandchildren will pay the ultimate price. Kwame Kuma came said he was going to help. Africans or Ghana. Let's let's come down to Ghana. At that time, Kwame Kuma was the devil on his time. Look at the factories that Kwame Kuma built. Something that we in Ghana use up to today. After over sixty years, we still use. Most of it had been destroyed by predecessors. Sorry, most of it, most of them have been destroyed by those who came uh, after. Even that, a lot of them like Akosombo Dam and um, so many things that we see. Someone who was president 60 years ago, we still feel his presence today. And guess what? At this time, he was devil. He was evil. He was repressive. He was taking this country backwards. He was destructive. That's according to those, um, according to those back then. Right, that's what they were saying about him today is our hero those who made us or who made those then believe that's evil just to satisfy their own political gain or benefits or so selfish benefits are all are all dead and gone Kwame Kuma didn't achieve his goal Kwame Kuma didn't achieve his aim. Those who fought against him in Ghana and outside Ghana succeeded, destroyed. And those who followed him blindly are all dead and gone. And we, their descendants, their grandchildren and children, we are now paying the ultimate price. We are still suffering to be economically independent. We should not leave the same legacy to our children and grandchildren. We should begin to stand for what is right and do it. If NDC or NPP are doing the right thing, let's applause them and let's support them. If they are doing the wrong thing, let's go at them hard because Ghana is not theirs. Ghana is for everyone. So, I said I wouldn't be making videos like this again, but I could not stand yesterday. I feel so much ashamed and sad as a Ghanaian. And I hope you do too. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you. Bye.